Dawn and Prometheus. Prometheus just left. We're book sellers, and this is a this is our nonfiction November wrap up. And honestly, I didn't think I was gonna finish a single book. This month was crazy. Okay, but I did, and so there's that. Don't judge me. Some of them are small. <laughs> doesn't matter, right? Um, so I finished 84 Charing Cross, Charing Cross Road by Helene Honf, and it was cute, but the end really made me so sad. Come on, hun. Um, because, well, that was pretty clever, because, oh, I can't tell. Never mind. It's a spoiler. I can't tell, but I was sad. And because of that, it kind of felt like there wasn't an effort. And those of you that have read it will know what I mean. Those of you who don't, hopefully it'll intrigue you enough to pick it up. It is worth reading. It is cute. And it was definitely during a time after World War II and the rationing and all that. Um, so, yeah, it was... Okay, so for you that don't know what it's about, a writer writes to a bookstore in England for an ad that she saw regarding some books, and she sent a list of books. Now, you don't know what the books are that she wants until you continue reading, which is very fascinating, but everybody at the store and this author ends up having a relationship via letters and so that's what this book is completely epistolary and it was lovely but so sad i do recommend it though what'd you read the first book i finished was ignition by john d clark i think i finished this in a week and i'll put a card or something where he does a very quick review i don't even know if he described what the book was about did you describe what the book was about other than jet propulsion I think I got close to it. Okay. All right. I work at a public library by Gina Sheridan. A lot of these stories I wish hadn't been in here or maybe had been at the very end. The part with the children was adorable and I wish the book had included more of that. Oh, okay. The Forbidden Schoolhouse, amazing. I'll have a separate review. Midnight in Chernobyl was the second book I finished. Yes. Uh, surprising how many people actually survived. Those Russians, man, they're tough. They're tough cookies. Living by the Book. This was actually the first book that I finished. And... I had actually started it, I don't know when, and I had set it aside because it had things like <laughs> verbs and adverbs and whatnot. I don't know if you can see that. Would you like me to zoom But, in? no, I'll try and take a picture of it or something. But, I said, come on, get with it, get your act together, pick it up. This book is really good. There were a few things in it that I disagree with, a few things that conflict with scripture, but overall, it's worth reading. So, there's that. Last book I read was The Panzer General about Heinz Guderian, and uh, I enjoyed it immensely. I did a review on this. Yeah, so all of those were five stars. Yes. I did not have a five star I did not have a single five star, although this was close. <clears throat> okay, so I had a buddy read this month. Thank you, Bill Rutenberg. So finally, finally got this book read. I've had this book for a very long time. I don't even know how long that I that I have owned this book. And the Parts of it, in the beginning, about his personal life, I had pretty much already known. The very ending part of it, I had already known. 
um, homeschooling Prometheus. We have a is it Nova? Who is that? What? Nova. So we have a, a DVD about not just Einstein, but Faraday and Lou. Uh, Lavoisier. Lavoisier. Yeah, what, what he said. And um, Meitner. And who was that French woman who had the affair with uh, Voltaire? Yeah, okay. Well, anyway, she was a brilliant mathematician. Anyway, so this, this DVD was why I know a lot of what was already in this book. Which isn't to say that this book isn't worth reading. But I will do that in a separate review because it is worthy of a separate review. And for anyone who is not wanting to read this, but is still somewhat interested in it, I have a fictional recommendation for you. But that will be in my review video. So I think that's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have a ton of videos that we need to record today. So thank you very much for joining us. We hope that you are staying safe and warm if you're in North America and cool if you're on the other side of the world and stay safe, stay sane. We'll talk to you later. Bye.